move to the third part which is this which is this part so i'll start a new sketch okay so i would like to start on the top plane then i'll create a circle a circle another circle another circle three circles dimensions this bigger one will be 30 this will be 10 this will be 16 and this will be 6 no I'll make this this will be 10 sorry so this way then we create another circle Okay, let me just leave it another circle uh, this has to go this way okay so i'll make them horizontal i'll make the circles horizontal all right so i'll give dimensions okay so I will, I will create another circle in here at the center point I'll create another circle okay so I'll give dimensions this will be 20 and this will be 12 So I need I need axe here. So I would like to create a center line to mirror. Okay. So I'll create a center line. Uh, sorry, I'll create a circle. I'll make the circle tangent to the smaller circle and make it tangent to this bigger circle. Alright. So I'll dimension I'll dimension this circle this bigger circle i'll make it 40. so this should be made 40 then i will i will trim out all right so i'll mirror this circle about the center line all right so at this point i need i need to add a rectangle here so this rectangle, I will make this rectangle symmetric. I'll make this symmetric and give dimensions. So this will be 10. And from this point, let me shift this center line so I can get point dimension where did you get it okay let me put a point there all right so from this part to that part i want it to be six okay so if this is six i have to trim out to trim out this part all right so the next thing to do is to extrude but i want this i want this left this way i want it left this way so i can i can extrude them easily without without drawing them again so i will extrude this and this to okay to 10 this i will extrude and i will extrude to 10. So if it's extruded to 10, I'll go back to the same circle again. I'll work the same circle again, to the same sketch, and extrude again. 
so this time around i'm going to select the bigger circle as well and this will be left alone and i'm going to select this circle all right okay so this wouldn't be done that way so i need to i need to fix this fix this by closing it all right I need to close this okay so choosing it again to extrude I will select that this one this part actually has to be extruded alongside this so I'll select this edge as well okay okay so it's extruded i'll go back to the same sketch extrude again i will select this bigger one this one i'll let it go to a height of 12. to height of 12. all right so i, ch I chose to i chose this method because i don't want to keep sketching on on the planes you know on the faces so I'll select the same sketch again and this time around I'll extrude the inner circle and this inner circle has to has to be 8 has to be 8 all right so So at this point we need a cut up here we need a cut so i'll create a sketch for the cut and this sketch has to be as symmetric so i can use my center rectangle use my center rectangle and from this part uh, yeah this way okay so this is symmetric and this will be dimensioned as 1.5 okay so this cut will go through all all right so at this point i need a whole crater here for another cut just snap okay so this should be four and I'll cut through all all right so at this point I will I'll will, I will give fillets let me change to perspective view change to white okay so at this point I will apply my fillets and the fillets will be 0 0.5 so fillets of 0 0.5 okay let me go with this part first and below So next will be another fillet again. Okay, so if not taken, I'll go for manual. No. So I'll just do it manually. I'll do it manually. Okay. I'll do the same thing here, fillet. All right. So at this point, I will exit. Okay. So the fillets are well added. 
all right nothing is nothing is is left out let me give you a flat in here okay so fine next i will save this part as well so this will be p4 so this part is saved we go to these two parts we go to these two parts so the next part will be this plastic part so i will start a new i will be a new part and start my sketch again and this time around i want it on the right plane all right so on the right plane i would like to revolve so i'll create i'll create this line here and make it symmetric so i'll select the line and select the center point and make it and, and select the midpoint so this is done all right so this is done then i would uh, i would continue with the rest of the parts i'll just do something to this way so that i'll find i would dimension it something just like this okay so i'll start dimensioning this will be two So quickly, I'll make these two parts equal. Okay. So if these two parts are equal, I would make this part three. This will part be three, and uh, I need a center line. Okay. So I'll select these points and the center line, and make them symmetric. Alright, so I will continue the dimensions from this line to that would be 8.5. Okay, so it's automatically uh, symmetric. So this length and that length are all equal to show that it's all equal. So next part will be this part. This part should just be vertical. So if they are vertical, I'll give dimensions two. Dimensions here. To just make them go linear okay all right so at this point okay this should be 24 that is it so we will revolve now revolve about this center line so you can see the output of the revolve Love to do a little touch to okay. So I need I need a hole created in the center, and this will be this will be twelve, and it will cut through all. Okay, so 
okay so at this point we'll add some some fillets we'll add fillets here one zero point three okay okay so this is our third this is our second but last part so i would save i would save this part i would save it as p5 all right so we'll go to our last part which is which is uh which is this pin here but i would like to Would evaluate measure okay so this job speed in four and this has to be fifty with measure 24 okay so let's check But has to be okay, so we exit. All right, so this is how it has to look. Okay, so I will save again. All right, so we'll go to the last part, which is the With that I want to I want to revolve as well so I will start my sketch on the right plane and uh, okay this way so I will select this circle select the center point and I'll make them I'll select the midpoint so I'll give dimensions of the rod which will be 75 and I'll give dimensions half the rod so half the rod will be 12 is 12 so half the rod will be 6 okay so I need a right a rectangle here a rectangle to this part okay so I'll give dimensions Okay, so I'll give dimensions to this part to 1.2. Okay, so this part lastly 0 0.75. All right, so I'll trim out as you can see, I'll trim out and revolve. I will revolve about this line. I will revolve about this line. Okay. So I will apply. I will apply a chamfer to this edge, and uh, now to this edge. So this chamfer is 0.5. All right. okay so this is done i'll save this as p6 
okay so i save this as p6 and we go to our assembly so to assemble i would like to close this save all okay so let's assemble so we go to our assemble okay so i'll bring i'll bring p1 first all right then i'll bring i'll import p2 as well all right so um, all right so quickly out i will return this okay admit part to that part and wait fine so i need a gap between and this gap should be okay 30 apart all right so we go to the next part we import the next part p3 all right so i would like to rotate p3 as well a bit okay so let's meet again this to that okay this face to that face all right lastly okay so here we go I would like to turn this up. I would like to turn this rather up. So I'll take this off. I want it this way. All right, I want it this way. So I'll meet again. One, one. Okay, so this face to that face and finally this face to that face okay so next we bring we bring then the bring the, the next part and that will be the p4 so p4 our mate p4 these holes okay that's 10 I will do that here okay this base to the top all right so I like to change to perspective view and white all right So this part should be at any angle because it's it is adjustable okay so i'll bring the next part which is p5 uh, let me go for p6 first so p6 i'll meet with this part okay all right so i'll leave this meet for now and i'll bring i'll import the last part p5 so i'll meet again all right so i'll bring this in and leave it like this for now then I'll go to my my toolbox. Okay, so my toolbox I will I will want to bring a washer. So this washer will be twelve. Okay, diameter of twelve. All right. So this washer goes along with this. Okay, it's made nicely. I will take this one off. Just can see the washer. 
then I will go back to my toolbox again okay so I need the lock and the extender okay so I'll choose this all right this will work this doesn't match let me get back to all right so this this one will be 12 okay This is mated nicely. Then finally, I need to mate again. This to this washer. All right. This is done. Then I'll mate again from this part to this part. I'll give a slight distance of ten. All right. So you can see the next we are going to assign the remaining bolts okay okay we're going for the socket bolts this should be m10 with a length of 40 length for 50 all right so this shouldn't be an M10 it's M6 rather not M10 so M6 okay so let's meet perfect let's meet again okay let's meet again okay let's meet again okay okay so you can see it fits in nicely all right so i'll read this then i'll go back for the same bolts So this time around, we are going for M10 with the length of 20. Okay, this is 25. This should work for us. And we need this right in here. So I would like to make this myself so I would uh, I'll rotate this to make it myself so mate okay so I'll select this part to make it manually to that part okay all right then I'll delete this out not needed okay so we need another skew here which is m6 m6 20 okay so I'll meet Okay, so the last screw will be added to the top here. So I'll import another screw, and this one will be M4. M4, sixteen, length of sixteen. 
and I think it's 16 is still too long for this part. I think 16 is still too long for this part. Yeah. Okay. Wait. 16 is too long for this part. Let me reduce, let me reduce the length. By importing another one. And this time around, I'll shorten it to 12. All right. So let's meet. Okay. So as you can as you can see, we are back, we are almost coming to an end. And let me add bolts and not sorry. Let me add knots and add knots. I would like to go for this. So this will be M6. M6, perfect. So M6. I would like to just meet it. No. no meter so m6 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 all right so as you can see now meet this part is uh, is tightening to the bike and this part moves to adjust the to adjust the chain and tightened here so as you can see this is our design this is our motorbike chain adjuster as you can see from the from the model we've, had, we've assigned the bolt and the nuts so we'll come to the end of today's tutorial we'll come to the end of today's tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to hit the subscribe button share with friends leave your comments below if i skip something or if I made any mistakes, leave your comment below. And see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you very much. There will be a link. There will be a link below in the description below where you can download PDFs to try by your own at home. And you can send us a message on our page. If you have challenges, we can help you out. Don't forget to download the, the step files to guide you. So have a nice time and thank you for watching. Goodbye.